Hello, I'm Ken Weller, and I'm here with the solution to the problem that I had in my previous video. If you recall, I was having problems soldering parts onto boards and connectors onto wires and so forth because I just was having trouble holding parts in place, being able to get light where I wanted it, uh, being able to see very well, and at the same time be able to solder. This is the solution that I've come up with. Uh, an invention called the helping hand. Uh, it gives me those extra hands that I need. For example, now I can take a pla plastic clamp here and hold my board in place. I can take a capacitor or electronic component that I want to solder onto that board and I can put it in position and hold it with this metal clamp which also acts as a heat sink. At the same time if I need to see what I'm doing better I can turn on this light and have additional lighting on it and if I still need to see a little bit better I can even swing down magnifying glass here to magnify the work for me. Now my other two hands are free to take the solder and the soldering iron and come in here and solder the component. So this was the solution I came up with to having those extra hands to help me uh, do a complete a task. Also it works just as well. For example I can hold my wire with one clamp and now I can hold this connector with another, get my wire in place, and again see exactly what I'm doing, have it magnified, and go in there and solder that connection. <coughs> so this was the solution to that one problem for me. But then I realized that it could also be used in arts and crafts and a lot of other applications for holding parts while uh, parts are being glued, um, doing heat shrink work, um, various uh, assemblies and repairs, and just some places where you just need to see better and have better lighting. Uh, the unique thing about this device is that it is able to be reconfigured. Uh, there are many attachments that can be put in here in addition to clamps and powered devices like this. These can be interchanged. Other devices can be put in there such as this vise. If I needed to clamp, uh, do a hard clamp on something where I wanted uh, a part to be held in place very strong, uh, very tightly, I can use this clamp and then also I can still have other clamps. If I need light, I can add another attachment with light and so forth. Um, there are other, a lot of other attachments available for Dremel tools, um, hot air guns, uh, cameras, microphones, doing videos and uh, even to hold your tablet or um, iPad as well as your cell phone. So uh, we'll be going over some of those different uh, things later on in later videos. But the main thing I wanted you to see was that I had an idea and I came up with the solution to it. And now we're going to talk about how I use 3D printers to make these parts to solve the problem. So stay tuned for further videos and we'll show you the entire process. Thank you for watching.